In the 82 year history of 210 Footwear Foundation, I don't know a time when our work was more relevant than during the pandemic. No recession, war, or economic setback created as much need for our services as did the pandemic. Between March 2020 and August 2021, or what 210 refers to as the 18 months of COVID, we navigated uncharted territory for the foundation and for our footwear community. The word unprecedented doesn't quite fully capture what we experienced. During that time, 210 granted nearly $5 million in hardship and crisis relief to more than 6,800 footwear employees in 47 states and Puerto Rico. The number of letters, emails, and online testimonials we received from the colleagues we helped during COVID was truly remarkable. It reminds us of how important 210 is to the industry and how critical our services are to our colleagues in a time of real need. In this past year, we lifted up the lives of colleagues during some really tough times. The following are some stories that stand out in my mind. My name is Lisa Thomason. Um, I am the manager of Dan Post Boot Company. My grandfather was in the footwear business. Uh, my father was in the footwear business and then Lo and behold, I'm in the footwear business. So it kind of runs in the family. And what happened here is the town was flooded, catastrophic flooding. It was like 17 inches in less than four minutes. It wiped out businesses. It wiped out lots of homes. Some people lost everything. 210 uh, helped our employees uh, with expenses and to cover some of their losses. I just can't tell you how much it meant to the people. I'd say the footwear industry is definitely a family and they try to help each other. My name is Daryl Kiker. I've worked in the shoe industry over the last 40 years. I was actually diagnosed with systolic heart failure about six years ago. Uh, then in August of 2021, um, I actually went into complete heart failure. At that point, I was hospitalized for over three months waiting on a donor heart. By the time I got my heart, I was actually on life support. Uh, my arms obviously were uh, tied down with tubes and, and IVs and and, and other wires, and I really couldn't even hardly type on my phone. 210 helped me get the information in over the uh, over the phone. Days later, I received a check from 210 uh, to cover my uh, house payment and other living expenses. On the backside, uh, just the um, emotional support that they also gave me. I, I can tell you that uh, Terry had reached out to me multiple times during my recovery to see how I was doing even after I returned home. My name is Robin Hoffman, and I met my husband um, in June of 2000 at a shoe show. And it was the best thing that could have ever happened because we were together almost 22 years. You know, I, I'm very fortunate. I wish I had more time with him because I feel cheated. I'm going to try not to cry. He walked out with our dog to go take him for a walk, and he just collapsed. As they say, your life can change in an instant. Well, mine did. The shoe business gave us our livelihood, gave us our life. Gave, we wouldn't have met each other if it wasn't for that. It's very difficult, so it's nice to know there's organizations like the 210 organization that really do care about their people. When you guys were generous enough to help with the funeral, I contacted Lisa Tacker. She was just understanding. She was sweet. She was kind. She checked on me after I got the money to see how I was doing. I mean, you don't hear a lot of that today and about organizations like that. The mission of 210 is to bring hope and opportunity to the people of Footwear. And I can say firsthand that our team does this every single day. Helping our industry colleagues is more than a job. It's our purpose. Thank you very much. We're very appreciative and you will always be in our prayers. I can't even say enough, so I'm very grateful. They were all uh, behind me 100%, and that, that, that also means a lot. We are 210, and together, with your support, we're lifting up lives and footwear.